All great things start from the very first step. Everyone who's climbed Mount Everest has started with the same small first step. For us programmers, this step is Hello World. The first step to obtaining your superhuman programming skill all starts from a mere print Hello World, console log Hello World. Are you ready for your superhuman abilities? In this drill, what we are going to look at is how to host a React.js application, a Hello World application, on an Express server and serve it using Express. Let's get to it. All right, we're going to start with a completely project here, and we're going to install our React.js app and our Express server. So the first steps, initialize this project using npm init. So that's going to create a package.json file. I'll just leave all the settings as is, or the defaults as is. So that creates a package.json file. That is the first step. So now we are going to install express using this command, npm install express. Now it's going to take a little bit of time, um, but what this does is it, down it downloads the express um, node modules and it basically installs it into our project and adds an entry to package.json. As you can see, this is uh, the dash dash save dev flag wasn't added because this is actually what's needed in our code um, in prod. So we are going to just leave it as is and install it into our dependencies. So that's going to take a little bit of time. We'll be back. All right. So once Express has downloaded correctly and everything is good to go, we're going to create a very simple Express uh, server, uh, Hello World, just to verify that everything is working properly. Uh, let's just go to the Express um, documentation just so we can copy past the Hello World. Um, so Express, go to getting started, hello world. We're just doing this because because we're lazy. I can type this all out, but so we're gonna create the index such as which is an entry file um, to our node uh, Express server. Again, I'm going to just use um, the S6 modules here. So import from Express and. Like I mentioned in previous videos, we're going to just define all of our modules as ES6. So I'm just going to make sure you have this property in there or node is not going to run. So yeah, so express instantiate the port 3000. Let me just change it to port 3001 and you'll see why in a bit. So app get, we're going to do hello world. So let's run this to make sure that node is working properly. Um, index.js. So once that it's good to go. We're gonna go over to localhost 3001. There we go. So it is indeed working properly. So Express is working. So at this point, stop this. And let's install React app. In order to install the React app, let's navigate over to the React documentation. And so in the docs section, um, under installation, create new React app. There's several ways to do this, but the easiest way to do this is to use the create react app um, that react provides for us. So let's go ahead and take that step. So the command is npx create dash react dash app. And then we define a folder here. So I'm just going to call, call it client. So it installs everything in a client folder. So this is going to take quite a while. So I'll be back shortly. All right, so installation is complete. So let's actually take a look at the client's folder and see what has been downloaded. So there's a public folder here, which contains basically the main um, index.html, the entry point one, and it has your source files. And this is where all your React components, all of your different stylus, style sheets, um, or anything that your React app needs. So in, in this simple case, um, this has one component called app, and then it's just loading all of this stuff in there. And also it has its own package.json file. So let's take a look at this package.json file and then look at the script section here. So by default, the create react app um, ships with a very simple server that you can host your react app with. Uh, let's demonstrate that. So under here, um, I'm just going to create another bash, uh, just specifically for, um, your react components. So here the command is start npm run start and this is going to run a development server 
that set that is oh i need to actually cd into the client directory so this is going to start a development server that's not your express server currently um npm run start so it's gonna do a bunch of stuff and then start the development server and then it's gonna actually launch um, chrome for us and then it's gonna point to the correct port and to the correct url which is localhost but as you can see localhost 3000 remember how we changed the express server as 3001 because i changed it because it, i didn't want it to clash so now this development server is running and then our react component which is this app right now so you see the logo here this is this logo the paragraph and you see the react link so let me just demonstrate so when i run my express server on the other hand node index.js so this is the hello world express server that we created local host if i navigate to local 2001 there we go so both servers are running the react is hosted by its development server it's very very simple and and small weight and then our express app is express um hosting the hello world server so what we ultimately want to do is we want to host our react application in express so when i navigate to localhost 3001 it's not going to print hello world anymore but it's actually going to print the hello world application that we built with react so let's get to that how do we go about doing that so let's stop both servers let's actually adjust our um component first so app there's a bunch of stuff here that i don't want i'm just going to get rid of the header and i'll just make a body and then demonstrate hello world so i'm going to save this and because we're not using the logo we can remove that so i made a modification to app.js component so here now let's run this and see what happens so it's starting the development server and now local host there we go as you can see our component has been updated the one cool thing about the development server it's actually hot loads all of your changes so when i add for example um another change rather than stopping the server restarting the server if you just save this file this is going to hot load and it's going to actually change in real time so let's demonstrate that with a split screen here so let me just add another header a subheader subheader there we go as soon as i saved react notice a change and the server um was updated and refreshed at the new, pa new page. So that being said, now let's look at how we can host this, not on our development server anymore, but on our express server. In order to do that, we need to make a few modifications in our express server. So navigate over, close this client out, navigate over. Actually, let me demonstrate this first. So let's, let's talk about the build process first. So package.json in the client package.json we have this build script this build command what it does is it takes all of your components and builds your um components into an html that you can actually serve to the client so when you actually run build it's going to go through all of its steps and it's going to create an optimized production build and that's going to create a build folder as you can see here and add a bunch of stuff and the end result of this is an is a index.html a single index.html that you actually served um, to your clients so there we go as you can see the index.html is created is minified just to optimize performance but essentially this is what you give to your client for any um, react uh, application so, you know, there's static files here, there's CSS files here that it was built up upon. Um, and you have your logos, whatnot. So all of your static files essentially live under this build folder now. So in Express, what we need to do is modify it so that it can serve the build folder now and these static files. So let's go ahead and see what we need to do in order to do that. So first we need to define in, in React.js, we need to define 
the static path so that it knows where to get all the um, files. And that looks something like this. app.use express static build path. So this is a middleware that basically just defines where to get all the static path. Uh, we need to define what the static path is. And I will define that as the current directory that this that this file lives is going to get the absolute path of that and we're going to append our build path to the current directory so we're going to use the join function and we're going to join the current directory to where our actual um build build folder is so that would be client and build so now React knows where our, uh, where to serve all of the static assets. So now from here on, um, we need to modify this middleware. So we are going to, let's just say for every single route um, that the user goes to, it's going to serve the index.html in the build folder. So we're going to send a file. And that file is the HTML file that exists in the build folder. So now Express, when we restart the Express server, it's going to know what servers to serve. Or, or sorry, which a files to serve. Oh, I'm getting an error here. Path is not defined. That's because I didn't import it. Import path from path. So let's clean that up and then let's restart the express server. There we go. Example app is now running here. So let's go back to our server or to our Chrome and then let's refresh this page. There we go. Hello world, another change. So this is the React app that we just created. We made those modifications and then we built the file and then now express is serving those files. So that's it. There you go. I mean, this is a very simple use case uh, of Hello World, but it's essentially what a React app is. So just to go over what React is actually doing. So this HTML file under the public folder, this is your base um, file. And then in here, you have this div called root. And what React is doing is in the index.js, the main one, you have this app component that is actually rendering. So it's adding this app component into the root elements of that HTML we just saw. And that app component is this very, very simple, you know, div that we're adding with Hello World. And once that's complete, once we build it, React builds that and, and creates this index.html that I can serve to the client. So that's pretty much it. That is all we're doing for this video. Um, oh, just, just one more thing. So as you can see, these are subfolders, right? In order to um, install the node modules correctly, we want to add this into our script. So once we run npm install on the root directory, it's, it only actually installs whatever packages that are defined in this package. But what we need to do is on a fresh install, for example, we need to go into the client directory and run its um, dependencies because um, this React app has its own dependencies inside here. And in order to do that, we use a post install script. So once after npm install is complete, it's, we're going to cd into client. And then after that, we're going to run npm install. So if you actually run this command, let's just say, so we saved this file. And then let's run this. So it's going to look at package.json and then do its thing. Now, after the install, as you can see here, it CD into the client folder. And now it's npm installing all of its, the React dependent um, node modules. And that's pretty quick because we already downloaded everything in the previous section. Yeah, so that's it. Now you have your superpower. We're, we're beginning to gain our superpower. And... Thank you for tuning in, and then we're going to build upon this in future videos.
Thank you. Stay tuned. All right, if you guys enjoyed that video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. Wait, how long am I doing this? Like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment. Okay, I'm done.